For more on this show, Concha, media columnist for The Hill and a Fox News contributor. For the record, yes. I am very glad I did not have a Twitter account before I was at the White House or while I was at the White House. I'm very happy to have one now, but mm -hmm. I am, you know, what you say can come back and you can be asked about it. And she, as she said, she sort of smiles and says, I know, Peter, you were gonna ask me about this. Yeah. They maintained that the tw 2016 election was stolen, mm -hmm. not just by President Trump, but that one down in Georgia. Stacey Abrams still has never conceded. That's exactly right, that was in 2018. Pain is temporary, Twitter screenshots are forever, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, only bad things seem to come out of social media, uh, particularly if you're a lawmaker or if you're a press secretary. Uh, but I wanna know, why is it always Peter Ducey or Jackie Heinrich that are asking the obviously tough questions of this press secretary? No one else in that room knew that Karine Jean-Pierre is an election denier? She said it, Trump stole it. And Brian Kemp stole it. She offers no proof as to how. So this is obviously a chilling threat on democracy that must be condemned, Bill. I think the conclusion of your point, Dane, is that it can and will be held against you. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. Which it has. And it should. It's the old Tim Russert way. Read back somebody's words to him and have him defend it. Yeah. And the funny thing was, says she said she knew the question was coming, and then she still had no lucid response. <laughs> she just said, oh, that's ridiculous. Well, she, it, said, it, she said she was talking about voting rights in Georgia. That's not in the tweet. So, so what is what, correct on that? <laughs> Stolen drones are in the tweets. Don't want to hear about that uh, tis, one, right? Tis the season, by the way. Kathy yeah. Griffin's back at it. Mm. Uh, she tweets, if you don't want a civil war, yeah. vote for Democrats in November. If you do want civil war, vote Republican, to which Ted Cruz said, this is wrong in all caps. Crazy Hollywood lefty threatening civil war if Dems don't win. Sadly, this is today's left. Angry, hateful, and violent. Well, Kathy Griffin has always been about unity and bringing people together. You do that by holding up the likeness of a severed head of a former president and then actually defending it after you do it, right? I mean, it's like she joined Hollywood ISIS at that point. And the decision was so bad when she did that, if you remember this, she lost her once a year job at CNN and then even was dumped from her endorsement deal by the Squatty Potty people. You know who they are. Quote, revolutionary bathroom stool that encourages proper toilet posture for digestive health. Unquote. Jimmy Fallon owns four of these things and she lost that lucrative deal. So look, you get the point. People like Kathy Griffin, they profit off this sort of rhetoric. Yeah. But if this is comedy, I don't think we're getting the punchline. Yeah, not very funny. Uh, the other thing is, this is not a comedy. This is truth. Yes. AOC, the congresswoman from Queens, will be on the cover of GQ magazine. I think yeah. we have a picture of that. I thought that was interesting that um, Jackie Heinrich just said that Joe Biden has not done, has never sat for, for a print interview. interview. How, I mean, I think he did something with the Associated Press. I'd consider a wire, okay? Mm -hmm. I think that you could maybe argue that. But what happened to that? When you have AOC, she, she does all the media. She's not afraid of doing media interviews. Well. Uh, and GQ magazine, I, obviously they want to sell magazines. She's a very attractive woman. Mm -hmm. she's, very, she's very effective. And they want to sell magazines. But what? I just think it's interesting, and I love your perspective, that Joe Biden doesn't do any interviews? None. We, we were talking about football a little bit before we came on. Last time Joe Biden sat down for a TV interview was the day of the Super Bowl. Think about that. February 13th mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in an election year. Sorry about year. the Bengals, Bill. I appreciate that. Let's oh, yeah. hold NBC. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. And that was 206 days ago. And yet wow. he's, we're told we, he has all this momentum. Uh, he did get 81 million votes. So why not try to sell your agenda if you're so confident in it and his handlers simply won't put him out there? I, I love the intro to the GQ profile, by the way. Quote, AOC, quote, has become the political voice of a generation and a cultural star whose power transcends politics. But you look at nonpartisan studies and she's one of the least effective members yeah. of Congress. It's 435 members we're talking about. She's never had a piece of co-sponsored or sponsored legislation ever pass. Uh, so she's all foam and no beer at this point. <laughs> uh, but, you know, she's the voice of the far, far left and it's yeah. gonna sell magazines to GQ, which isn't the GQ you grew up with anymore. It's a political magazine like everything else, yeah. it seems. Thank you, Joe. Bill didn't know it was still in publication. Really? I was being sarcastic. Given the way you dress, I, I mean, I would think. It was sarcastic. I was like, GQ still out there? <laughs> it was um, funny. If, if, it was funny. Uh, it was funny. If you look through the piece, it's picture after picture after picture, and that's why she did it. Probably, yeah. Well, she's great on Instagram and Twitter and, and mm -hmm. snark, so that's what Kenshi Magazine Thank profiles you, Joe. No foam in that beer. All foam in that beer. There he is. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.